Good morning students. Today we are going to discuss and start a new topic in, in our course which is PowerPoint. So the material is already uh, uploaded into Moodle. You can first download this material. It's a 26 page material. And now I am going to start with page number 2. You see the first activity that you are going to have is called Instructor, mo instructor Model Demo. This is the demo, demo which will be given by the instructor for you to basically understand various things that you can do with PowerPoint. PowerPoint is a software which is used for making professional presentations. You are a manager of a company. You want to make a presentation about your company, about your annual plan, something like this. Then you have to present it to the people. So you can use the PowerPoint software as a tool to make professional presentations. So this first model demo will help you to understand the various features that can be used with PowerPoint so that you can make a very good presentation. So the activity is the, de the demo activity has been divided into tasks. First one is task one. Okay. How I have organized the material is very simple. I have divided the tasks based on the ribbons. You know, if you are going to open PowerPoint, for example, I will tell you, you can see the PowerPoint. These are ribbons. Home is one ribbon. Insert is another ribbon. Design is another ribbon. Transition is another ribbon. Animation, slideshow. So these are the main ribbons which we are going to use when you are going to create a PowerPoint slide. So I am actually going to divide my task based on the ribbons. Task 1 is about for example, home ribbon. So task 2 will be about insert ribbon. So I am going to do an activity with you using PowerPoint and you will understand all the tasks that is going to be there in each of the ribbon. So basically I am going to go ribbon by ribbon so that you can understand it clearly. And then when you are going to have the second part of this particular material which you have is called practice activity. So the practice activity is nothing but you are going to do the practice activity based on this demo activity which I am teaching you. After you do the demo activity, after you do the practice activity, there is also homework activity which you need to submit to get some grades for the classwork and assignment part. So this is how the material is divided. Now let us start with the task 1. So you see the most important note also I put here. You need to watch the video lessons on each task to understand the actions to be performed for each task means each ribbon. Okay, today now first we are going to start with task 1. You can see it is about the home menu, the home ribbon. See sometimes people use the word menu. Menu is not used anymore now. Now we use the word ribbon. Before it was called menu. Now you can see here our task task 1 is based on what today we are going to discuss about the task 1 about the basics of powerpoint on opening and creating slides so whatever you are going to see here it is all going to come from the home ribbon if you can see here it's all from the home ribbon you have to understand everything that is being discussed today is from the home ribbon so first question is what open a new Microsoft PowerPoint file. You know how to open it. Very simple. You can go to the start button. You can give here PowerPoint. There are many ways. You can open from the list of programs. You can open it from the uh, bar here, the task bar here. So here I see it. Some of you may not see it. If you don't see it, don't get panic. Just type here PowerPoint. When you type PowerPoint, you will see the PowerPoint will open and then you can give blank presentation. So you have opened a presentation now. So the first part of the question is open a new PowerPoint Microsoft PowerPoint file. The next question is what? Add five new slides. Now the PowerPoint presentation is open. Okay. Now I have to add new slides. Can you see here? New slide. Sli new slide. I am going to use this button to add new slides. How many slides I would like to have? Five. So now I click. It becomes the second slide. 
I click, it becomes the third slide. I click, it, it, it becomes the fourth slide. I click, it becomes the fifth slide. I have got five slides. I hope that you got all the five slides only by clicking this particular icon which is in the home ribbon which is called home new slide. See, the ribbon is divided into tabs. This is slide tab, this is font tab, this is par paragraph tab, this is drawing tab and this is editing tab. So it is in the slides tab, we have the button called new slides. I hope it is clear for you until now. Now the third question is what? Cha save the file. I want to save the file as demo powerpoint pptx. pptx is the extension of any powerpoint file. pptx like excel x excel x x for uh, word for excel docx for word document here pptx this is for our powerpoint files. So let me show how to save it you know it just a recollection of it. I just go here file save as I am saving the file in the in this PC ok I can click this PC I want to save it in desktop I want to save it as instructor demo instructor demo instructor 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 demo and I am saving it as save so now the file is saved. Can you see here? Instructor demo pptx. No need to type pptx. Since it's a PowerPoint file, automatically it will take the extension of uh, pptx. So I hope up to this point it's clear. Now the fourth question which I want to do is what? Change the layout for each slide. I want to change the layout. Now you know what is layout? This is called layout. Can you see here? In the, in the home menu, you have the layout in the slide tab. So there are different types of layouts available in PowerPoint. The first one is title slide. The second one is title and content. The next one is section header to content, comparison, title, many types of layouts. You know what is layout? The structure that you want to have for each of the slides. So now you have to choose the different layouts for your slides. See if you look at the activity, I have given you here what are the layouts that you have to apply for each of the slides. For the slide 1, I want to apply what? Title slide. So you can see here, title slide. I go to the slide here. Okay, first slide, I want to choose the layout. I go to the layout. I choose title slide. So that's the layout. For the second slide, I want to apply the other one is title and content. It is title and content I think but anyway you can check it again. Title and content. Now the third one is what? You are going to have here the third one to content. You know what is to content? You can see here to content. If you can see here it is to content. It's okay to content. Can you see now? It is divided like this. It's the contents on both the sides. To content. Then you can go to the fourth slide for this the layout is the fourth one the layout is what the layout is like uh, let us see what is the layout the layout is comparison fifth one is picture with caption okay comparison so for comparison slide I am just going to use this one comparison so I am just using this one comparison can you see here comparison and for the fifth one I want to apply a layout called picture with caption. Can you see here? Picture with caption. So that's it. So now I have applied different layouts. Then you can always do what? Save. Just whenever you do any action, click on this button so that whatever you have done will be saved. So now we have done this one up to this point. Now I answered question number 4 also. Question number 4 is what? Like here. You can see here, it's like here. Okay, can you see here? It's like this one. So now we have done question number four. Question number five is what? I want to add the contents to each slide based on the video lesson. Okay, now I want to apply the contents. 
so the contents is up to you but now i will show you how i am going to add the contents because the topic is going to be about what covid 19 the topic which i am going to do now is about covid 19 so i am going to draw i am going to make my uh, slideshow about covid 19 so now let's go to the powerpoint slide let me put the idea for this one so i put the title okay maybe i will not use all the components now just i type here covid 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 19 okay and i can write here presentation presenter is muhammad yusuf for example now after that i write the second one i write my own content okay you can write your own content if you want okay you can write here now for example you can write about COVID-19 about COVID-19 okay it is a pandemic it's a pandemic that has affected almost 200 countries in the world it has caused death of over 150,000 people in the world as of now okay don't worry about the content I'm just giving you an idea because how to write the content okay it is not very important about the content now later on we may add many things like picture table and stuff like that that we will see later now I'm just giving you an idea what is related to this particular home ribbon only okay it is one of the uh, deadliest viral infection happened in the last hundred years okay that's it I think enough I don't want to waste a lot of time on writing the content then I go to the next one about COVID-19 here I want to write something like uh, situation situation in Oman for example situation in Oman so I want to put a table okay for example I keep okay here the table is ready and then what I do is that I actually I, I, I add a table and then what I do is that I choose the table design then I add here for example I don't want many rows I can delete if I want right click delete if I want I can delete or merge or I can do whatever I like for example I can split the cells into uh, like for example I don't want this type of table I can delete this table also for example I can delete the table also just a minute if I don't want the table I delete the table I can delete the table also if I want now I make the table bigger okay I can adjust the rows and columns as I like here I can do this one okay now for example I can put any information that is related to this one here for example I can write here Muscat Salala okay Sohar for example I am just putting something then I put here Nizwa then I put here um, Ibri for example okay now if you can see here now you can see here like this now we have this one okay now you breathe okay sorry so now I have put all the information in this table here don't worry about uh, the things now here it is not well organized it's fine just put some numbers because I don't have the exact numbers so I can put it here like this okay then if you want I can split the cell also if I want to add a row I want to make it into two rows for example two rows means right click split cell now you can see it becomes two rows then I can select this one then I can give what repeat then I can select this one I can give what repeat can you see now now there are two rows okay and then I feel musket is only little bit up so I can make it like this musket okay don't worry about the look of the information just I'm putting it like this here you can put the data of today 
like how many in Muscat or like you can put by region Muscat, Dofar, like this also. Just don't worry about the information as I already told you, it's just an idea. Now, if you want to put any picture, for example, you can also add a picture. How to add a picture? You can see here online picture. Okay, you can click online picture. You have to wait because the internet will take some time. You are going to search COVID-19, for example, COVID-19. And you can search. Okay, just I am looking for some picture if you are finding any page. Okay, if we didn't find any image. Say, okay, then I type COVID again. Okay, some pictures are there. So I take this picture, I give insert. Now you see the picture will be downloaded into this slide. Okay, so don't worry. Now don't worry. These things will come in the insert ribbon. But now I am just giving you the idea. Now here I want to type again uh, some information like precautions. Precautions to avoid COVID-19. How to avoid COVID-19? Precautions. Precautions means steps that you should take. Number one, personal hygiene, personal hygiene and hygiene, hygiene and frequently, frequently washing the hands. Number two is about what? Uh, avoid travel, traveling outside and stay at home. Number three is what? Number three is actually to eat healthy, healthy food and drink lots of fluids. Water. Okay. Fluids means water. Okay. Then you have to say that now social distancing. Social distancing is important okay avoid avoid uh, gatherings avoid gatherings okay avoid gatherings uh, in Ramadan for example because in Ramadan you should not meet in groups of people because it's not good because it is how it actually spreads fastly avoid gatherings in Ramadan and all these things are given by the government of Oman I'm just typing it like some information okay avoid gatherings in Ramadan and also the other one is what uh, you can you can uh, consult the doctor you can consult the doctor if you have any if you have any conditions of flu if you have any conditions of flu something like this enough now the last one is I am putting it here okay I just want to put a picture here Okay, I want to put a picture here again. Okay, the picture I take from just I think DU campus. Okay, here I put the picture of DU. I write here Dofar University's plan. Dofar University on plan during COVID. For example, don't worry about the content. I am just putting the content to show that how to add the content only. The content which I am putting is not important at this point of time. Now I put here. Number one, I write here online classes, online classes, online classes, online exam assessments. Okay, and the students have a chance to continue their semester normally. Okay, that's it. Now I have done all the five slides. Now if you go here, you can see that I have added the content. Now you can see here I am going to do what? Various features of the font tab I am going to use. I am going to use the various features of the font tab here. So I am going to use the various features of the font tab and paragraph tab. So you can see that I finished this part now. I am going to now do this part. The font and paragraph part. So, just what are the things that you have here? Bold, italic, underline, font name, font size. Okay, 
then all these things we are going to see we are going to see these two categories now you all know all these two things because basically in any microsoft application all these things are commonly found in word in excel in everything it is found so let's go to the slide and try to see what we can do here now for this one first of all you have to select okay if you don't select anything maybe it is not active can you see now some students say my bold is not working it will not work unless you don't choose the text see if you give bold it will become bold covid but if you don't select that one 19 is still normal highlight see here this is becoming bold now this is italic this is underline okay bold italic underline okay you can see here bold means it becomes bold if you give italic it is slanting if you give underline it will become underlined then you can see the font can be changed it is arial a a r i a l arial okay then you can change the font size like this 72 78 80 like this okay now you can see here the next one is you can increase the font you can decrease the font size so see if you want you can decrease the font size if you want you can increase the font size as you want then you can see this one is character spacing you can increase the character spacing very tight tight normal loose very loose more spacing okay now this is done i think here you are going to talk about the alignment this is left alignment this is center alignment you see this is alignment buttons if you keep it over this one you will see center alignment this is left alignment here this is right alignment so you see this is alignment okay you click this one right alignment center alignment left alignment okay then you can see this one now for example in this one slide there are bullets i want to change them into numbers you can change them as numbers like one two three like if you want to add numbers you can add numbers like one two three okay now this is one now if you want to put two just go take it back two now make it back three you can change it like this also one two three points you can use and you have something called text direction see for example here i go to the first one i have text direction i can go to the text direction i can give it like rotate to 90 190 degree 90 degree like this see now here now i can move muhammad yusuf this one down okay after moving this one down you can see here i can move it down i can move it down once i move it down i can make it big can you see now here covid 19 like this i can make how did i make it go to text direction in the text direction you will see that you have horizontal rotate and other things okay now this is done and then you can make it center like this and it is how you are going to make it covid 19 you can make it like this also so now we have done these two things paragraph and uh, font tab so i have done all the features of the font and paragraph tab let us go here and check now you know how to make bold you know how to make it italic you know underline you know the font and font, font size you know alignment you know text direction i also taught some things which i did not put it here now in the video the last one is what convert to smart art smart art feature smart feature smart art feature it is here can you see here it is here i want to put it in a smart art feature like here now i go here i choose convert to smart art i want to put all the information in the form of smart art can you see now here okay it is not so good for me so i can choose another format like this you can see here layout different layouts are there see you can choose like this you can choose whatever the layout you like there are many layouts available whichever the layout you would like to have 
you can choose like for example you want to apply this type of okay like this now you see it is instead of having a font you have put in a smart art so to make it as a smart art you have to go to where convert to smart art and do it i hope it's clear until now so now we i have also done this one the next part in task 1 is to apply the paragraph tab not the paragraph it's actually not paragraph it is a mistake here it is what it is drawing tab can you see here the word is drawing so i am going to use what tab i am going to use the drawing tab so remember that i am not going to use this one i am going to use the drawing tab so here when i type i typed it as paragraph by mistake it's drawing tab so we are going to see what are the things that we can include in the drawing tab so now let us go to the powerpoint slide again okay let me go to the slide i can choose here now you see here these are shapes if you want to put a circle okay you can add a circle here and you want to change the color of the circle for example shaping fill you can change the color like green you want to put you can use green and you want to make it big you can make it bigger as you can do it easily okay if you want to make it like a oval you can make it like a oval also then you can right click edit text you can type here um you can type here right click edit text and you can type here alhamdulillah alhamdulillah the situation is in oman is far better than many other countries many other countries now you see you don't see it very clearly because the font is not in color so i am changing the font maybe to black see this is font color i am changing it into black so now it becomes better for me to see is that clear so this is what you can use different shapes like this like you can put an arrow you can put there are different shapes like this whatever the shape that you would like to put you can put so you want to put a smiley face to show that it's a good situation we are happy about it so you can go to shape fill you can choose any color you would like to see here like this and then you say that alhamdulillah like this you can put also if you want this is from the home menu if you go to the home menu in this one you can see here okay shape fill you have any shape you can change the shape you can change the styles okay like you can change the style like this can you see this one i want to put color for this one like this now for example here i want to apply the color so now i go to shape fill i go to color like this i want to put a color here it will become colorful you don't use too dark too striky colors because the too striky colors are not very good so i think now you know about styles shape effects now you can also change the effect of the shape like this now for example you see here i want to apply this shape here not for this one i am going here shape effects so i am going to give an effect like this for example like i want to give an effect like this so the effect will be applied here like you can see here the effect is changed for this particular thing now for this one i want to change the shape effect can you see here i go here i give 3d rotation okay i want to apply it like this see here covid 19 see here like this okay like this i want to see which one is good for me you can choose one according to your interest and your liking now for me i feel okay i will use this one covid 19 okay now you can see here if i apply the shape effect like soft edges like here okay now now you see here this is what is the effect i want to apply and i can make it like this is that clear as i told you don't worry too much on the content now 
and just try to understand how to use this one so you know how to arrange okay like how to align and how to do the things like this like for example for everything you have to select arrange bring it to the front so this will be brought to the front so that's it i think this is about the drawing features of this particular thing i think this is also clear for you now how to use the drawing features so this is in page number 2 and 3 we have discussed now with this i will conclude this video in the next video we will discuss about the various options that you can use in the insert ribbon of the powerpoint slide i hope it was clear for you and please try to practice these things in powerpoint and before you go to the activities which i which will come later activities will become very easy once you follow this instructor demo activity which has got several parts i will put them one by one so that it is easy for you to understand okay my friends stay safe and take care of yourself try to practice it for your better understanding assalamu alaikum warahmatullah